Welcome to IQ, sponsored by New Horizons Credit Union and the Mobile County Public School System. I'm your quiz master, Bob Britt. Welcome to the second of two semifinal matches for the 2022 IQ season. Today's match features students from St. Luke's, Mary G. Montgomery, and McGill Tuma. The winner of today's contest will advance to the championship to meet Davidson and Baker. Well, the questions you're going to hear this morning are prepared in 16 categories by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the questions equally challenging. Here's how the points are awarded. Each team will receive its own question in that area. Teams will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. If the team misses entirely, either of the other two teams can gain one point with the correct answer, and I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. We always start with questions in current events, and we always start with the team in position number one, which is really the home team. So McGill, here's your question. Good luck, everybody. Quote, I'm American when I'm in the US and Chinese when I am in China, unquote. Give the full name of this American-born freestyle skier who won gold for China. Chloe Gu. Try again. You. Try again. Kim. Mary G. Eileen Gu. Eileen Gu. Right, very good. Mary G. Montgomery. Give the length of time since a drought in the American Southwest has lasted two decades. 1,200 years. Correct. Four points. St. Luke's. The U.S. plans to reopen its embassy to combat China's expanding influence in the Pacific region. Name the island nation which will have an American embassy. Taiwan. Try again. The Philippines. Try again. Indonesia. Try again. Japan. Nope. Mary G. Montgomery. Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands is correct, one point. American history is our topic to McGill. In 1994, an outspoken Georgia representative, who eventually became Speaker of the House, offered Americans who had a widespread anti-government sentiment a new promise, calling it a contract with America. This leader went on to counter President Clinton's more liberal legislation through much of the late 1990s. Give me the last name of this man. Ryan. Try again. Nope. St. Luke's. Gingrich. Right, Newt Gingrich, one point. Mary G. In 1947, President Truman vetoed a piece of legislation, but was overruled by Congress, and it was enacted into law. This legislation was anti-union and weakened many of the New Deal labor gains by banning the closed shop and other strategies that helped unions organize. Name this legislation. Five seconds. Just say that. Anti-New Deal. Try again. St. Luke's. Right to work. No, McGill Tulin. No, it was the Taft-Hartley Act. St. Luke's. In 1991, President George H.W. Bush nominated a conservative African-American judge to the Supreme Court. His nomination trial was broadcast live on television for all Americans to watch as it was marred by a sexual harassment claim from a former staffer. Give me the last name of this judge who eventually did make it to the U.S. Supreme Court. Thomas. Right, Clarence Thomas, four points. Very good. Topic is biology. To McGill. Name the phenomenon that occurs when differing sizes of morphologic features or differing behavior among sympatric species help reduce competition. Survival of the fittest. Try again. Morphology. Try again. St. Luke's. Niche partitioning. No. Mary G. Natural selection. No. Character displacement. 
Larry Montgomery, here's your question. Altruistic behaviors in societies may have evolved to benefit relatives. Identify the name of the process that ensures survival of alleles. Try again. Reproduction. Say Luke's. Genetic diversity. No, McGill. Dominance. No, kin selection. Say Luke's. Carbon dioxide in the air transmits radiant energy from the sun but traps another kind of light. This light is also known as heat and creates the greenhouse effect. Identify this kind of light. Infrared? Yes, four points, correct. Time for sports now. Everybody hands on your buzzers. It's toss-up category. First team to push its buzzer answers first. Four points for a correct answer, but only one answer per team. So you can buzz in whenever you think you've heard enough of the question to give me an answer. This Russian former middle distance runner held the former women's world record holder for the mile and the current 1,000 meter world record. At the 1996 Summer Olympics, she won the gold medal in both the 800 meters, 1500 meters. She completed her season by setting two world records in the 1000 meters and mile. Give me the last name of this athlete. Buzz in if you think you know the answer. McGill. Mendelov. No, sorry. Mary G or St. Luke? Apparently. Stradalova? No, that wasn't right anyway. It was Svetlana Masterkova. Literature is the topic. Miguel, in chapter 17 of Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, give the last name of the movie star the narrator and her brother Bailey think looks just like their mother. Ashley? Try again. Mary G. Francis. Francis is right. K. Francis, one point. Mary G., here's your question. In Mark Twain's short story titled The Invalid's Story, give the total number of miles the narrator traveled by train one winter's night in order to bring the body of his deceased friend home to his parents. 2,000. Try again. 1,500. Try again. 1,000. Try again. 600. Nope. Teams wait for the buzzer. St. Luke's. 100. No. McGill. 1,200. No. 200 miles. St. Luke's. In Alice Monroe's short story titled The Eye, Sadie, the woman who had been a babysitter and housekeeper for the narrator's family, was struck and killed by a car one night as she walked home from a dance hall. Give the name of that dance hall. The Royalty. Correct. Very good. Four points. All right, now it's time for math. In math, the rules change a little bit. You get 60 seconds to give me four possible answers, and each math question is directed to a particular team. And everybody gets a copy of every question for possible bonus points. So, McGill, this is your question. Everyone open your yellow math envelopes. The unit circle in the xy plane centered at 0, 0 has an equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. The tangent line from the point P to zero on the x-axis to the graph of the circle with positive y values has coordinates T, A, B, at the point T of tangency on the circle. Notice the interesting fact that T is the intersection of the upper half of the circle with center at one zero and radius one because the angle inscribed inside a semicircle is a right angle. What is the value of A expressed as a quotient of two positive integers? Thirty seconds for McGill to get four possible answers. Pi over two. 
Sorry. Try again. Pi over 4. Try again. Pi over 6. Try again. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. St. Luke's. Two over three. No. Mary G. One over two. One over two is right. Very good. One half. All right, Mary Montgomery, here is your question in math. Everyone open your red math envelopes. A quadrilateral ABCD has two opposite angles, A and C, of measure 73 degrees. The angle is 20 degrees larger than D. What is the measure in degrees of the largest angle of the quadrilateral? And again, this is Mary G. Montgomery's question for what's left of the minute. It's for all geometry questions. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. One oh seven. Try again. Ninety seven. Try again. Seventy three. Try again. One hundred. No, St. Luke's. 161 degrees? No, McGill Tulin. 160. 117 was the answer I needed, 117. Next math question goes to St. Luke's. Everyone open your blue math envelopes. Consider the isosceles triangle whose vertices are B, 0, 5, A, negative 3, 0, and C, 3, 0, so that AB and BC have the same length and all vertices are in the coordinate axis. Since the three points are not collinear, there is a circle which passes through all three vertices. Denote the center by the ordered pair HK. Note that H is zero. The value of K can be expressed as a fraction, P over Q, in lowest terms with P and Q integers. What is the sum as an integer of P plus Q? Thirty seconds left for St. Luke's to give four answers. Ten seconds. Three. Try again. Five. Try again. Seven. Try again. Nine. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. Anybody want to buzz in? You can. Mary G. Montgomery? Eight. No. McGill Tulin? Twelve. No. You're close. Thirteen. Back to regular categories now. Fifteen second questions. Topic is Shakespeare. Back to McGill Tulin. In Act 5 of Hamlet, the prince and Laertes begin to fence, and at the first pass, Hamlet claims to have scored a touch, while Laertes denies it. Name the character now serving as a judge of the contest who declares a hit, a very palpable hit. Claudius. Try again. Horatio. Try again. St. Luke's. Marcellus. No. Mary Montgomery. Bardo. No. Osric. That's the answer I needed. Mary Montgomery. In Act 5 of Julius Caesar, Brutus is haunted by Caesar's ghost, but he largely keeps his visions to himself. He mentions seeing the ghost to only one character. 
one of those whom he asks to assist his suicide. Give this man's name. Mark Antony. Is it Mark Antony? Yes, it's him. Trebonius. Try again. Mark Antony. Try again. Titinius. Try again. Casca. Nope. St. Luke's. Cassius. No. McGill. Hello. No. Volum Volumnius is the answer. St. Luke's. In Act 5 of The Two Gentlemen of Verona, Sir Eglamour assures Sylvia that the safety of the forest is not far away. Give its distance from Friar Patrick's cell. Two miles. Try again. Nathan. One mile. Try again. Half a mile. Try again. 300 feet. Mary G. Montgomery. Ten leagues. No. McGill. A thousand paces. No. Three leagues is the answer. Geography is the topic to McGill. A country in Africa has its southern shores along the Gulf of Guinea, just north of the equator. It contains one of the largest lakes in Africa, Lake Volta. Name this country. Sierra Leone. Try again. Congo. Try again. Cote d'Ivory. Try again. Burkina Faso. Nope. Mary G. Montgomery. Ghana. Ghana is right. Very good. One point. Mary G., here's your question in geography. The capital of Kenya sits to the north of Africa's tallest mountain peak, Kilimanjaro. Name this city. Nairobi. Yes, four points. Correct. St. Luke's. The largest lake in the country of Mozambique can be found in its northwestern region near the borders of Zambia and Zimbabwe. Name this lake. Lake Victoria. Try again. Lake Tanganyika. Try again. Lake Nelson. Nope. McGill. Lake Malawi. No. Mary G. Lake Nyasa? No, it was Kahora Basa. It was the name I needed. No points. Okay, we are halfway through our competition right now. McGill Tulin is getting warmed up. Mary G. Montgomery and St. Luke's are tied at 13 points. And now the teams will make any changes they wish at halftime. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of local nonprofits and education, including sponsoring the annual New Horizons Credit Union Scholarship. Visit newhcu.org to learn more about New Horizons Credit Union. Next topic is chemistry. Goes to McGill. Here's your question. Give the term used in thermodynamics that describes a process that occurs by itself without any continuing outside agency to make it happen. Spontaneous? Yes, four points, correct. Mary Montgomery, when balancing a redox reaction in basic solution, one usually notes the number of hydrogen ions in the equation. State the total number of hydroxide ions that would have to be added to the equation if the number of hydrogen ions was six. Six. Try again. Zero. Try again. Three. Try again. Two. Nope. McGill Tulin. Twelve. Twelve is correct. One point. Oh, six hydroxide ions. St. Luke's. Two. Two. Structures of proteins fall, broadly fall into two categories. One category is known as fibrous proteins, which align themselves to form long water insoluble coils. State the term given to the other type of protein which fold into compact, roughly spherical shapes. Clustered. Try again. Pleated. Try again. Folded. Try again. Mary G. Montgomery. Peptide. No. McGill. Beta. No. Globular is the word I was looking for. Art history is our next topic. To McGill, while avant-garde artists opened up new possibilities for painting at the end of the 19th century, this artist was doing the same for sculpture. Give the last name of the French sculptor who created such famous sculptures as the Burgers of Calais, 
the kiss, and the thinker. Rodin. Right, Rodin, very good, four points. Mary Montgomery. Romantic portraiture often emphasize the emotional state of the sitter as seen in this portrait of a famous Hungarian pianist and composer. The pianist is depicted wearing a long black robe with long sleeves. He stands sideways against a dark green background with his arms crossed in front of him and his face turned toward the viewer. Give me the last name of the Hungarian composer and pianist who is depicted in this portrait by Henry Lehman. List. Right, Franz Liszt, four points. St. Luke's, born in Switzerland, this artist and professor of painting produced some of the most memorable images of the Romantic period. He spent most of his life in England, but also spent about eight years in Rome, where he discovered Roman sculptures and the art of Michelangelo. Give me the last name of this artist, whose art often depicts violent, tragic, or fantastic episodes, as seen in his painting titled The Nightmare. Who's Sally? Right, four points, correct. Time for Team Choice now. Before the match, you chose the topic you wanted to be quizzed on, but there's a twist in Team Choice in that there's only one answer per team. So teams, if I rule the original team's answer wrong, you can buzz in immediately with a correct answer and one answer per team. So McGill, you chose literature. In Alice Munro's short story titled, Leaving Waverly, give the name of the specific illness for which Isabel Elliot was hospitalized for four years before she died. Pericarditis. Right, four points. Mary Montgomery, you chose American history, one answer. In 1973, Congress passed a law that limited the president's ability to wage war without congressional approval. This legislation required the president to notify Congress within 48 hours of committing troops to a foreign conflict. Name this legislation. One answer. The Presidential Powers Act. No. McGill. The War Powers Act? Yes, the War Powers Act. Two points for McGill. St. Luke's. The capital of Rwanda is centrally located away from all of the country's borders. Name this city. Kigali. Right, four points, very good. Now time for our second toss up of the match. It is in Shakespeare this time, so everybody hands on your buzzers. In act one of Henry V, the Archbishop of Canterbury cites a book of the Old Testament as McGill. Numbers. Numbers or Deuteronomy, right, four points. McGill, topic is physics. State the name given to the kinds of forces in which the amount of work done by those forces is the same regardless of the path over which the forces act. Independent force. Try again. Continuous work. Try again. Dependent work. Nope. St. Luke's. Normal force? No. Mary G? Equilibrium. No. Conservative was the term I was looking for. Mary G. Montgomery. State the name of the physical quantity that is determined from the product of electric field area and orientation of the electric field to a line drawn perpendicular to the area. Five seconds. Amperage. Try again. Voltage. Try again. St. Luke's. Resistance. No. McGill Tulin. Magnetism. No. Electric flux. That's what I needed. St. Luke's. State the value of the specific heat capacity for water in units of calories per gram degrees Celsius. One. Correct. Four points. Right. Topic is American government. To McGill. Nearly every state prohibits persons living in the state for only a short time from gaining legal residence there in order to vote. Give the name for these persons. Transients. Four points, correct. Mary G. Montgomery. Give the name given to organizations made to state and local party organizations for such party building activities as voter registration and get out the vote drives, party mailings, and advertisements, and similar efforts. Initiatives. Try again. Precincts. Try again. Uh, 
St. Luke's. Committees? No. McGill. FEICs? No. The actionable word there is contribution, soft money. That's what I was looking for. St. Luke's. Give the name for any person who, for any reason, has an unusually strong influence on the views of others. Influencer. Try again. Celebrity. Try again. Mary G. A pulpit. No. McGill. Media. No. According to your reference material, opinion leaders. World history. Back to McGill. Name the person who succeeded Hong Wu as Emperor of China and moved the royal court to Beijing. Yang Lo. Four points, correct. Mary Montgomery. Give the name of the system by which the Ottoman Empire drafted boys from the peoples of conquered Christian armies. Dev Charm. Yes, four points. St. Luke's. Give the name of the new capital built by Shah Abbas in the late 16th century in modern day Iran. Constantinople. Try again. Riyadh. Try. Nope. Miguel Tulin. Esfahan? Yes, one point, Esfahan. Score is Mary G. Montgomery with 21, St. Luke's with 25. Today's leader at this point is McGill Tulin with 28 points. And we're down to the last question in today's contest, which is worth four points. Everybody, good luck. Open your white math envelopes now. The reciprocal of the average of the three numbers, 3 over 35, 6 over 5, 8 over 7, when simplified to the form P over Q with P, Q integers, and no common factors. What is the sum of P and Q as an integer? Okay, Mary G. Montgomery. 126. No. Gill and St. Luke's, still up to you. St. Luke's. 63. No. McGill. Go ahead. 116? No. 196. So our score stands. Mary G. Montgomery with 21, St. Luke's 25. McGill Tulin came back from a slow start to win today with 28 points. Congratulations. So now we will see Davidson, Baker, and McGill Tulin in the Alabama Haikyuu Championship coming up later this week.